All right, boys, I'm fed up. No one's building these things, so I gotta teach you guys how to have someone to rip with. Today, you're gonna learn how to build an electric drift cart that goes 75 miles per hour. are flat. Seems good. Before we go rip, today's video is sponsored to send me a package. All right, boys, perfect timing. I uh, just got a package from Counteract Balancing Beads. If you guys aren't familiar what these are, it's a uh, balancing bead for your truck tires. All right, a little dope hat. Probably give this thing to my pops. So I've already had these on my old tires. If you have like a car or something, you don't really need these. But if you have a truck with like off-road tires, the tread always gets out of balance. So it creates like a really bad shake in a steering wheel. And these remove the need for wheel weights. So here's like the little thing you put through the valve stem. It's got a uh, valve stem remover in here. And here's the weights right here. But basically it's like a bunch of like micro little plastic beads that go in the wheel and they spin and it keeps your wheel balanced without the need for uh, wheel weights or anything. And then when you go mudding, off-roading, anything like that, it's gonna keep the wheel in balance. I'm gonna go take these things to the uh, tire shop. We are in route to my favorite tire shop. They're only gonna charge me 50 bucks to get these things installed, not bad. Okay guys, heading home from the tire shop and I am in disbelief. This thing is driving so smooth and the tires are still full of mud. Yeah, so thank you Counteract Balancing Beads. I'm gonna have the link below, really appreciate it. I've been using these things for the last like four or five years. I just got a brand new set of tires. So hit them up and they actually sent me a brand new set. So super stoked, thanks again, go check them out. Oh man, it's been a while. Look how sketchy this thing is. is my 72 volt 75 mile per hour drift cart and i'm going to show you kind of the basis of how to build one and what i would do differently but to start out it's a uh, emic racing chassis so it's a full chromoly shifter cart chassis so this has a uh, oem suron light b motor i'm running an oem suron battery you can run a 48 volt to 72 volt and then i'm running a sine wave controller and this thing's only like 350 bucks. You can get a BAC 4000, which is like a thousand, 750, a thousand. But this thing's only 350 bucks and it runs a 72 volt just fine. And uh, a lot of people were wondering too, why I have a handbrake, not a foot pedal. Didn't come with one. I want to install it, but uh, then I got an Amazon go-kart wing, just super cool. But that's like the standard thing. So basically all you do, get a motor. Then we're running a universal bracket right here. So basically you just bolt it up, it's good to go. Go-kart already has all this. It's like the simplest build you'll ever do. So mount up the motor, mount up the controller, battery just sits where the gas tank was or whatever is back here. It's just that simple. Right now I'm running the PVC drift tires. We're gonna do a raw little video, rip around the neighborhood. This is probably gonna be the last video until Zay builds one of these. Then these little sleeves are gonna go back on. But for right now, last one. And then I wanna do some like fast circuit style riding, which these sleeves do not allow me to do.
thing is so sketchy. Oh my gosh, I think we're wearing through on that one. Cannot wait to remove these. Yeah, that wheel's toasted, dude. I don't know how I'm gonna get off this curb. Oh, that poop ran over poop. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. Holy Toledo, that thing is smoked. Look at that. They're in here. Okay. There he goes. All right. Finally, gonna have my go kart back. F those things. All right, guys. So we got the normal tires back on but now I'm trying to get the settings back so we got 7,000 watts 72 volts phase 300 max phase 150 I think I need to turn that back to 300 I think on the sir I run 500 so 300 and I think maybe up the boost phase let's see oh that's pretty good oh yeah we're back Oh yeah, we're good. Now we can do a proper rip. This is the card I want, dude. All right. Yeah, see this is where the cart shines, man. Having uh, normal tires on, it's way more fun. Yeah, so I've got to fix the steering. I gotta resort back to the old ones like I had, but this is way better. <laughs> Yo! We are ripping! Oh my gosh!
<laughs> Look how bad this steering is right now. I think it's way better like this. Um, the next thing I want to do is get some like big old mud bogger tires on this thing. So I can go rip some roads, like back road rally stuff. I think that would be absolutely sick. Oh, there's my people. Got my Tesla. So I don't get ran over right now. Um, I want to go hit up the local tracks with this thing first. Well, it's got the race tires on it. And then get the mud boggers. Yeah, it keeps up with the Tesla, no problem. Definitely in the danger zone. Oh! <laughs> All right, boys. Well, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I want to get some mud boggers on this thing. And uh, I think it's going to be sick. But right now, no gym fields is the move. So stay tuned. Oh my gosh, I got to figure out the tuning on this bad boy. <laughs>